Okay, welcome everybody, or at least if there is somebody who wants to see what I'm going to do. As I announced, I'm, uh, for the ones who don't know me, I'm uh, Anne-Marie van Eck. I'm living in the Netherlands. I'm an art journaler, uh, creative person. I do abstract expressionistic paintings, mix media a lot. And I like to try different stuff and I work I work very, very intuitive. That's, I think, the only thing I can say. And I have a problem right now because I'm doing this uh, kind of workshop group, uh, Let's Journal. And in this group, we try to really use the journal as a journal, as a diary. So everybody is talking about the week before. So every week we do one spread or one page or some uh, who join us do once a month, whatever everybody wants to. But uh, the problem is that um, adding text in my journals is very difficult for me <laughs> because I just learned this, I unlearned it dr uh, through the years, and I because I, you know, I made a spread and I just didn't like uh, adding text in it because it was like you have a great meal and then you need to start overeating again and you're full, it's kind of that kind of feeling. So. Um, then I discovered another way of journaling. It was more visual journaling without text and to work more intuitive and get in the flow of creating with bits and pieces. And I discovered that I needed less and less imagery. Mostly I start with a lot of images and then the, they, they disappear because uh, I get in the flow, I get connected to my more subconscious world and then I don't need anything except color and a bit of shape. So that's how I work now and I really like it but I'm having troubles with adding text in it and for the workshops or for the group I need to <laughs> hey Joyce I need to do some text in there so but uh, it makes me un un uh, very uncomfortable and that's okay because you know I always say practice what you preach. <laughs> and we all are uncomfortable while creating now and then, aren't we? And how do you cope with that? Yeah, you just laugh about it and you continue and you are more like saying, I say to myself, hey, it's just a journal. It's just, you know, of course, it's about my life and that's not about nothing. But on the other hand, it's just paint and glue and a page and you can, you know, do the next page, <laughs> start over again every time. So um, I did this spread uh, yesterday uh, in the demo for the group in an attempt to uh, put a lot of text in it, but I'm really uncomfortable looking at it. So I'm going to alter it in the way I like it the best. And I just, you know, get into it. I dive into it and let my intuition take control and do only what uh, my guts tells me to and not what my mind tells me to that no you need to do text you need to do text so i'm just um working like, like i always do i clean the floor and all that's laying there that's the gold so i dig the gold get it uh, put it on my table work desk and i think i'm going to use a lot of uh, that in my journal, but I'm I'm not planning. I'm just starting in silence. I think mostly that works the best. And uh, now let's see what uh, becomes of this spread. And as always in Instagram Live, you can only do in selfie modus. <laughs> so I hope you can see what I'm doing. Although the image maybe not as clear as I do in Facebook. Live, you can do the horizontal. Uh, if you join me, put off your shoes so that you are really connected to the ground. It's important to, you know, but my floor is very cold in the studio. So, and uh, now if you join me, have fun. <laughs> and questions, I will ask them, uh, uh, reply on them later. Nou, goed genoeg voor Joyce. Ja, het is goed genoeg, ik denk het. It's what it is. I can't make it any better. Maybe if I put it more. 
Hey, Corre. <laughs> Hello, UK. I'm sorry for my scrappy, scrappy English, but it's what it is. It's better than your Dutch. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to talk so much. I, as I mentioned, I'm going to work on this spread, the demo of yesterday. And now I can work the way I want myself and not the way I need for the group. You know, sometimes you just have to be humble. First, I like these letters because they were from a postcard, but I don't think I can get them off. I thought in last night, I thought, what if I cut them out and I have a hole in my page? I think I would like that. Um, but, you know, then the mind is taking over and I don't want that. If you are thinking in the night about how you can do your spread the next day, you're in the in the in the you 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 took the the, the wrong turn <laughs> because then then the ego is talking and you're inventing it from your mind and I think my original is like you know last night I thought okay I'm going to cut out these letters and I'm going to do this and this and that looks great and that's thinking but. In this, there's no thinking involved at all. Just creating. Let's see the time because Insight only gives me one hour. And now my feeling say, says to just tear them off. So I listen. It would be nice cutting out. I will do it in the next demo for the group. Because we are only trying different... There's already a hole in here. Look. So this is me arising from the ashes like a phoenix. But it's too much in my face, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to shut down my mouth now. I hope, I think. Turn on my candle. Because in a nest you need to be prepared for everything that might happen. I can't put it in my pot of the blue. Only a few colors, white, off-white, black, could be gesso, whatever. Um, I have some flowers, dried flowers, lying around and of course a lot of ephemera. The best materials. So what's on your floor? It's the best. And I even like the small sparks a bit. Ah, there you are. That's my credit card. Oh, it is a verwend card, is dan al niet geweldig. So let's see what I'm going to do. Oh, that's thinking. No, no thinking. This is lying around my table for a whole week and I really like it a lot. If this was the original, two pounds. Oh, put the fire a little bit away. But first, what I always do if I don't like a spread is just go in with white. That's what I like the most. More or less give it a free start. The wonder sponge, the magic sponge. This book is a lot about my oh, <laughs> my operation, which I'm going to have tomorrow. So today, I think. My subconscious will be about that also, I think, most probably. So I know I really dislike these outlines I did yesterday. <laughs> and I like to destroy things in my journal. 
least I don't call it destroying, but and I always miss music during my createfulness. For the ones who don't know what createfulness is, createfulness is um, meditation, but then on a, uh, while creating or through creating. So I'm not going to meditate before creating. Creating is meditating. So I think it's a bit silly to <laughs> go and sit on a yoga cushion and uh, meditate and then you step from your cushion and then you're going to create. Because the state of mind while creating is the same as the state of mind I need. Uh, I'm trying to get in my meditation hour. So for me it's the same. I don't need the cushion. This is my cushion. My pillow. It's cheaper also. You don't need to a yoga mat and all this stuff. And you know, I'm a yoga teacher, so I can say something about meditation and yoga. And peeling off is nice. You get this nice structure and you really get rid of what doesn't suit you anymore. What doesn't suit me is this text here. Mm, let's see, how can I do that? Maybe you know, you know, some periods I really want blue and some periods I really, really need a lot of white or black and red. I think that's my color spectrum. But now the blue, I don't know, it doesn't, I don't know right now exactly what the color blue stands for. It's a cold color, of course, but the symbolic meaning I don't have right now. <laughs> yeah, Cora, I like watching other people work because it's medit very meditative and I always makes me want to create myself. So you can join, just pick a spread you don't like and go and alter it with me. You know, you don't have to do like me, but I always find it when I look at somebody else's uh, hands <laughs> working, my oh, respond on that. I'm going to alter this page also, so that's good. It's not a problem that there's a hole in there. Bye bye. <laughs> Mostly if I start singing, it's a good sign. It's uh, my own made uh, ink and I have this one also. Oh, I have a lot of them, but most of them are in my spray bottles. I have a special kind of uh, stain I use to uh, paint your uh, interior house or your floor, your wooden floor, and I use them. They are not water resistible, but the colors are great. Beautiful weather here, the sun is shining, so I'm looking outside, everything is white from the frost, so my colors res resonate with what I'm seeing outside. <laughs> Oh, 
Ini kuah ya. Everything with children like I like also. I'm not showing the right example because you need to have water and uh, something from <laughs> the alarm. Make sure you have a bucket of iron when you do this. <laughs> I don't think this is very healthy. Let's dilute this a little bit. Phew. Yep. Now it's gone. Oh, I just bent over and then I found this piece of paper. But no, not nice. I feel so relieved that this is gone now, you know. It's like you have to eat something and you really are disgusting it. This is how I felt yesterday. And I don't want to feel like that at all. This only thing you can do is listen to that and get what you really need. Now I'm literally arising from the ashes. <laughs> arising, sorry. I like this, but it's just too wet.
did this yesterday, cut out. I really like it. But it didn't fit in. Fire in the house, yeah. Fire in the house. Oh, I like this spread already. 100% more than yesterday. Strange how it works. <laughs> so easy, so simple, honest. Your guts, your underbelly knows exactly what to do and what is right and what's not. But if you don't listen, hey, then you get sick or you get a spread that doesn't uh, suit you. Oh, my feet are really cold, so I need to put on my shoes. Shoes, my Crocs. Crocs, Crocs, Crocs. Crocs. It's too thick. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, yeah. I have an angry dog outside. <laughs> oh, I think it's a scared dog. Rose is her name. I'm doing a rose now. Ashes and rose leaves, petals. I think it's a poem. I think it's a good text for in this journal. Roses and ashes. Don't you agree? People are always, a lot of journals are, you know, putting in great quotes from great inspiring people, but they forget that, you know, what comes in your mind is as good or I think better. So roses, roses and ashes, I think it's a very good text for this page, for this emotion, for this story. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Now you don't see the burnt lines anymore. I want I want it to be burnt. So let's get the fire in the hole again. <laughs> I don't have any matches. I think I don't Too bad now. Come, you can do it. <laughs> you can think when something like this happens, why doesn't it want to burn and I want it burned? Hmm, what's the message? Maybe it doesn't need to be burnt. Maybe I don't arise from ashes. You know, could be the message here for me. And it's up to me to listen to it or not. If you are in contact with your spread or what's happening. I really like this kern of... Yes. Yes, that's a definitely a yes. Did you hear it? Yes. <laughs> when it's a yes, it's a yes. Don't doubt that yes. You feel it in your guts. Always. It's always right. So. I'm gluing it with wood glue. Added a little water. Book binding glue is more or less the same. I know a lot of people ask me that. What do you use? This is what I use. This one want to be here, I think. This one wants to be here. Okay, you can, you can. This wants to be here. Because otherwise, why would it be there already? Oh my god, I really like this spread already so much. What's going on here? And I know I don't need text to remind me over a year sorry <laughs> over, <laughs> over a year what this is about. I think I still remember this kind of live events.
the leather I cut off in the beginning. I like this piece. Oh yes, I'm happy now. If you, I think if you filmed me, my face yesterday or now, <laughs> uh, two different persons, I can tell. Really, there's another letter, letter. So, makes me want to breathe more deeply. I think I'm always done. <laughs> That's what I think. Hmm. Hello, little guy. What are you doing here? Can you see this? It's nice, it's a picture of a, a little boy in the class and he needs to go to the loo, he needs to pee, he's doing his finger. And I like this square space and it really is fitting in there, exactly. Ah. <laughs> Whew. Uh, um, sorry, I just uh, <laughs> feel this spreads very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. It does. Makes me 
I'm gonna cry a little bit, honestly. Mm. My little owl outside is crying also. Do you know this feeling that your spread is, you know, getting really <laughs> in your face, in your heart? And you know it's completely right. I like the contrast between the black and the white. Because there's always this shadow part and the light part. Walk on by. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Ashes. And petals. Ashes and roses it was, wasn't it? It feels better than petals. I don't know why, but petals. It's it's a strange word for us. We say blaches. <laughs> it sounds very different than petals. I don't know. Petals. Petals. I don't like the word. Blood on the wall. Tomorrow there will be blood on the wall. That's for sure. Am I anxious for tomorrow in my operation? Mm, no, not so much. I sleep well. So that's mostly for me a sign that I'm okay. If I'm awake, I'm only <laughs> thinking about art. Maybe it's a dis escape for life th events. I don't know. But I'm more anxious about uh, how my lymph nuts will be in a week. If they are clean, then I'm relieved and I think I will have a longer life. But my heart is still a problem. Blah. So a lot is going on and this spread, I think, is very accurate in pointing out what is going on in my life right now. I hope your spread is too, because, you know, what's the point in creating if it's not about your life or 
your inner world then you're just doing a, a, we call it in in dutch you can make art or do art a kunstje i don't know how to translate it but it's a real difference it's it's a trick or it's art but be, in, in Dutch, the, the, the word is the same. Kunstje and kunst. So it's funny um, that these words are... I like this now, you know, intuitive. Flames are red and I'm adding red here and roses are red too. It's all one. Wow, this is deep. <laughs> I mean it, I laugh, but I, you know, it comes in my mind and then write it down okay when you're going live you can see, say these pretty words you know you score with people no i just i say it and i'm i'm astonished myself like wow i don't even know what did i say oh yeah the ashes are red and the flowers are red and what did i say um the ashes the flowers and the i know i forgot already um, the ashes the burning and the roses yeah and the roses of course of course a rose is a rose, a rose, of course. No, no. It's too dark, I think. If you dip your pencils, especially your... Uh, water soluble pencils in water you get really nice soft lines i learned that from fonda clark hayes she does this with uh, she draws lines with her oil pencil no with her water soluble stuff and then she spreads water on it i don't like this now it's too <laughs> It needs to be probably like this because otherwise it would have been different. Yes, yes, already better. A bit more red, a bit more red. Oh yes, it's done. It's really done and I'm so happy with this. <laughs> uh, I think you were did witness a miracle, guys. This is you. Joyce, I hate that word. Why do I hate that word? Because this is you. A lot of people, uh, sorry, but <laughs> um, because I noticed that uh, everything is me, even if it's crap. Or if it's rubbish, it's also me, you know, and um, the process, I think it's me. And yesterday, me feeling awkward and, you know, out of tone was also me because my life is not always feeling this. But um, uh, I know what you mean, but, you know, sometimes people I notice, I, I know somebody who made really nice spreads and then every time, here we go again, sorry. It's not about you. She needed to draw a, a little face in it because otherwise it wasn't hers. And I was really in, now shock is a big word, but hurt by it because she couldn't see what she created anymore because she did this last thing in her art because otherwise it didn't felt like me. And I always say, everything is you. Even if you don't like it, it's still you. So um, that's why I never say, now it's me. I, I can only say now I feel much better than yesterday um, because I wasn't thinking, I was just more doing intuitively and I'm also somebody who thinks a lot so that's also me but it's a part of me that doesn't suit me anymore, it doesn't serve me anymore so I want to delete, delete it but it's still me and it's good to know you know when are you doing a, something that Make sure in your comfort zone, so for exactly that person I'm talking about, she could only be happy because she learned that that was her main core and she couldn't get loose of that um, 
have it anymore. And I felt sorry for her. I think she's not free anymore. But I know what you're saying, Joyce, but I just wanted to respond on it because in my workshop I see a lot of people who are blocked because of, you know, afraid getting out of their comfort zone, feeling uncomfortable. And I'm not. I don't like it. I can laugh about it like yesterday. <laughs> but, you know, and that's what I like. I can laugh about it and I'm still liking it, but it's, you know, it's not serving me anymore. And I think nobody wants to be like that. I don't, don't like my solar plexus yet, but I think it's okay now. I think it's good. But it's subtle. I leave it. I leave it. So it's done. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you... Oh yeah, whatever. And if you didn't enjoy it, there's this button. Delete. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, ik ook Joyce.